Feathered Escape by two-time WWF Heavyweight Champion Yokozuna is a position platform of Pico 8. It's really easy. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to love the people. Today's game is called Feathered Escape and it's by the developer that goes by many names, uh, Yokozuna, Yoko Boko, and we're going to play the game Feathered Escape. You may remember from his previous game, Birds and Saws, Birds, Birds Against Saws? It was the, the bird game where you're a chicken and those circular saws. Well, this is another game where you are a chicken and there are circular saws. This time it's a position platformer though. There you go, that's a title screen with a bird and a saw. Interesting. Uh, what I'm going to do first is show you the um, tutorial because I tried this game initially, um, give it a, a little play and I got stuck in the tutorial so I um, didn't play it after that. Anyway I came back to it because um, I saw it on Mastodon and thought oh that game looks good and then I remembered oh that was the one that I I couldn't get through the tutorial. Anyway, here we are in the tutorial. Um, there's this text on screen telling you about the movement. Oh boy, there is a lot of movement in this game. So, we are a chicken. And we have got every um, modern platformer move and some at our, uh, at our disposal to try and get through these horrendous, horrendous levels. Um, that was a demonstration of ceiling running there. Um, yeah, ceiling running is the one that I have the most difficulty with. Um, I'm incredibly awkward at it and I've not got any better at it. Um, full disclosure, I don't particularly like precision platformer games, but this seems like a really well made game. So I wanted to kind of highlight it because, you know, some people do like precision platformers. Uh, there you go, that's a tutorial and uh, that's what I got stuck on. Yeah, some people do like these games and, you know, you might want to see this game and you might want to play it. So. I'm showing it to you. I'm just, I just, I'm just not very good at these games. Okay. Um, if we go onto the level select here, there are 29 levels. I've got all the way to the last level, and I can't complete it. So here we are. Um, I'm going to show you from the beginning where I can um, hopefully not embarrass myself too much. Uh, let's talk about the game. Have you noticed all the swishy little effects in this game? Yes, it is supremely well made. There's so much nice animation and um, so many nice little bits of polish, nice little touches all over the place. Um, look at the little, um, little clouds of dust when you jump. Look at the trail on your character when the, your character does a, a nice jump like that. Isn't that good? All the nice crisp platformer movement. Uh, you can run up walls. Um, you can see you in run. There's like that. There's, there's so many things that your little chicken character can do, um, including almost dying. Every level is a simple case of get to the end, or if you're skillful, collect the fruit and then get to the end. When I say skillful, um, it's skillful or sometimes it's just kind of lucky or sometimes it's just the fact that you're on like the second level and the difficulty hasn't really spiked up yet. Um, yeah, some of the levels like this at the beginning, pretty straightforward. Uh, this one, I've not bothered even attempting to try and get that fruit because it looks really difficult to get so I'm just going to leave it. Um, if you want to play through this game casually, um, just ignore that fruit. Ignore that fruit behind the curtain and just get to the exit and that would be my tip to you so as you can see there are uh, many levels it's very fast and um, the incredibly um, incredibly humbling fastest time that I've seen posted on the Pico 8 forum was something like two and a half minutes with all fruit and deathless which is um which is insane I don't understand how that's even possible but it is apparently, so there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a position platform in the style of um, Super Meat Boy. Um, those position platformer bits in um, Guacamelee. Um, there's loads of games like this now, isn't there? Um, all of them incredibly lethal, um, with so many, um, so many needless deaths of so many hapless chickens. Um, well, it's actually chickens in Guacamelee as well, isn't it? It's chickens all the way down. So, we've got collapsing blocks, 
we've got lava, we've got spikes. It's a platformer. Okay, we've got all those things. Look at how nice the graphics are. Ah, the graphics good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Really nice animation. Really nice. It's really good graphics. The, uh, the movement as well. Really um, well thought out platformer movement. Um, the chicken is quite floaty. For a position platformer, um, I wouldn't expect such a floaty main character. Um, takes a bit of getting used to. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I've been playing this game for quite a while now and I still haven't got used to it. Um, but yeah, the movement is very, very nice. Um, you just need to be able to harness it with skill and probably just persistence. Um, that's what that's what I've been using. Just bashing my um, head against several brick walls, collapsing walls, spikes, circular saws, throwing star machines, and lava. Um, so, if you want to play this game, if you are a sadist, uh, you can play this game over on Splore, like I'm doing, or you can play it on Itch. Link is down below, as usual. I'm soon to reach the point where I'm unable to um, form a coherent sentence while still playing the game because the game has a rather um, smooth but still very steep uh, difficulty curve. Um, it gets to a point where it will begin to kick your ass um, and it will keep doing that until you either uh, beat the game or give up. Um, I got to the point where I got to the last level and I just couldn't handle it. You've seen it in the intro. It's insane. I haven't even got to I haven't even got to the bit where you can see the exit. It's that hard. Um, the last level, a couple of levels in the game actually feel like kind of uh, references to uh, birds and saws. Um, oh, it's it's <laughs> oh, it's this level. Oh, here we go. So uh, this level is a really good demonstration of how um, important it is to master things like the uh, ceiling running, which um, I've never seen in a game before, and I'm horrendous at. Um, oh God, every level now, every, every level now, just makes me wince with pain <laughs> whenever I see it. Oh, let's try it. So yeah, uh, it's a really it's a really well made precision platformer. Um, you know, check it out. If, if this is your cup of tea, then this is a very big cup of your tea. So um, you you enjoy it. Oh, there's so much, there's so much air control. Um, yeah, the game makes it um gives you so many tools. This it gives you so many tools to try and beat it. Um, which makes it all the more painful when when you can't basically <laughs> Oh this level I still don't know I've beaten this level. I still no idea how that, There we go. I just did it. Okay, and um, so yeah everyone so Feathered Escape by Yokozuna. It's a really well-made position platformer um, go and check it out Oh, the music's good, isn't it? Hmm. Yes. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this. I'm um, I'm not going to try and beat this game. It's it's beaten me. Um, but you can try it. So go and click on those links and give the game a look. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out the Discord link down below. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.